we gotta run. So this is the adventure we signed up for. But when you live on a boat, you can't really be too, I don't know, risky. Any of them are about to rip over and smash right into our beautiful paint job. We're sailing good, bad, and ugly. Three years ago, we bought our boat off Craigslist for $5,000. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We are known to break the rules and do things a little less traditional. to join the adventure. Thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. Welcome back, welcome back. All right guys, I know it's getting old probably, but we gotta run from another hurricane. It's not a hurricane yet, but daggum these storms are getting old and we gotta run. So this is the adventure we signed up for. We thought we were cool. We thought we were the cool kids and we were like, we're not running from hurricanes, yada, yada, yada. So we're stuck like Chuck dealing with this. No, we're tired. We tired. After our steering, our steering cable or what? Else. You guys know all of our disasters. If you're new here, check back on our last videos. Too much problems to catch up on. Flew back to America. We're back. One storm right into another. So we're tired, but we need to hit the sail, as I say. And hit the sail. We need to get shelter somewhere else. Yep. We're gonna get some shelter, we're gonna do some sailing day, explain that stuff to you. But also, some of you may be thinking, you idiots, why stay there for hurricane season? You brought this to punks yourself. It's a little, there's a, it's a little more nuanced than that. So we're gonna share some of those caveats with you as we sail today. y'all I forgot to wear my gloves up here and I got barnacles all over this uh, anchor chain so wear your gloves don't be like me plan which seems to happen I feel like six times out of ten at least so no biggie here it's a beautiful day to be running from storms though
now that I have the uh, the wind a little more favorable, it's on the back back quarter now, so I can sail pretty easily. And I have a little bit of time to talk to you about something that a lot of people have. A lot of people have this question. They say, Matt, why would you willingly torment yourself and stay in Puerto Rico for hurricane season yet again? Obviously, I'm running from these storms, Kristen and me, through uh, every other video, it seems like, recently. So for those of you that don't know, let me explain Puerto Rico and hurricane season as a whole. If you're from Norway or somewhere and you don't know, uh, Puerto Rico is the bullseye on the dartboard. All of the darts are flying at the bullseye. They either miss by a little bit, but here in the Caribbean, Puerto Rico is the bullseye. Every hurricane is aiming right for it and it barely misses. So that being said, I've chosen to stay here, right, right next to the bullseye for a couple of seasons now. One, first time was COVID had the whole world locked down, so I really couldn't go anywhere. And now a year later, we'd hope things would get better, but they really haven't. Um, when you go to these other countries and you're not a citizen, you have less rights. And uh, this is why we chose to stay here. I have friends in Martinique, France is completely locked down. So every French island is gonna be locked down as well. Friends in Martinique can't even get off their boat right now. Um, luckily, you know, everyone's trying to keep themselves safe, but I would prefer to stay in Puerto Rico where I'm a citizen here, where I have rights. The people are amazing. I love it here, of course, anyway, but we're not leaving no time soon because the only thing worse than hurricanes coming is hurricanes coming. You can't leave your boat. You're in a foreign country. So we're going to sit tight, stay through hurricane season this year before we start our grand adventure eastward. All right, guys, we're cruising in. This old girl is pumping fast, and we're going about five or six knots, so that's fast for us. And the wind is coming from some clouds, but we see where we're gonna anchor out now. And it looks like the beautiful anchorage I remember, Punta, what is it, Punta Arenas? Punta Arenas. <laughs> it's just like I remember, so I'm super hyped that we get to come here again. And we're almost there. Am I in your way, Matt? You look like you're looking for me. No, you're fine. I'm just trying to look at the roll. It looks like it's going to be pretty rolly. Uh-oh. So we were able to sail in. Whoa. Oh, Lord Jesus. A little rolly in here, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, we were able to get out easy, clean this morning, sail onto the anchor, uh, knocked out about 18 miles today, and probably got about another 15 miles to go tomorrow, 16 miles to try to find the safest little honey hole we can find. So we won't get to enjoy one of our favorite anchorages too much. Even though it's a little rolly, we still love it. You know, the rolly, no problem for old GBU. But Maybe we can go to the beach. She might talk me into taking her to the beach. What do you think? Should I just say, hurricane ain't moving no faster. Let's get down and have some sand time. Maybe, we'll see if we can get dinner going. Okay, dinner time. As you could see at this roll the anchorage, my, tr uh, my boom, my main sail is kind of moving around a bit. You can see as things roll, it slides back and forth. And what I did was I came up with a gangster traveler set of pulley systems. As you can see, I don't have anything here to let me help me mechanically drive my uh, sail when I'm moving. So obviously I need to do that from the helm. We don't have autopilot. So what I did was I came up with this. Tell me if it's right, tell me if it's wrong. I've been doing it for about a month and a half and it's been working really, really well for me. And it helps me trim my main sail a lot easier, gives me a lot more control. And I think it would kind of work at, like a preventer as well. So I'm gonna show you that now. So I ran a, an old sheet that we used to use that we no longer do. And uh, I ran it through the boom, one of the little, I don't know, you could tell me what that little sea looking thing, tell me in nautical terms what it's called. But I ran two and then I have a double block. 
down here at the bottom. I ran it through there and that allows me at the helm to pull it over this way, to pull it over the other way, and then also I can tighten both of them to kind of use it as a preventer or keep that thing from rattling around. It's a lot easier than running up here, grabbing these things, trying to pull them back and forth while the mainsail is loaded. So that's been working pretty well for me. I like it. Let me know how you, how you feel about it. guys so it's the next morning and we're heading on to the second leg of this journey trying to get over to where we got to be safe now the storm kind of is going back and forth it's saying that it's going to be stronger some days and less strong some days but when you live on a boat you can't really be too i don't know risky i guess we can't go to marina to get out if it decides to turn right at us right away so where we were in fajardo we were pretty exposed we just dealt with that other storm where some guy didn't drag on us but was having problems and we, we had to go help them out so if one boat can drag they all can drag and uh then we're going to be dealing with big problems there so we decided to run for it and we're going to tuck into a little bay what is the name of the bay uh we're going to go in a pharaoh bay it's not really like the best place for hurricanes but it's the best closest option that we have and then uh, we're going to go over there and tuck in for this little storm and then maybe we'll find a little bit better spot for the rest of the season hopefully <music> All right, so today we're gonna to be sailing off anchor, which we try to do a lot on this channel here. Not because we're sailing purists by any means, but just because our motor isn't that great. And the place I have to pull into today is kind of tight, so it'd be harder to sail into there. I still might try, but I'm gonna save my motor for the end of the trip instead of the beginning of the trip. So we're sailing off anchor today. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But your love lifts me back to solid ground Guys, we saw some giant sea turtles and when I first saw them from far away they were trying to make the beast with two backs. So we're pulling into our protective bay now. We were worried about there being too many boats in here who are also getting ready for the storm, but looks like there's only one and one sunken one and then something in the trees. So plenty of room. Things are looking good for us. All right guys, we made it in here, dead flat calm. Had to motor a little bit more today than we thought. It just, we weren't getting any wind. I hit 1.7 knots for a little bit of time and I said, you know what? 
bump it. We just kind of motor it out. So we, we relied on the steel sail today. But anyway, we're in here. It's really calm. A couple of boats that cause concern, half sunk. This one's ready to come loose and hit me. So hopefully this storm isn't that bad. But if you're someone on earth that got a boat and inherited it and you just stuck it in a hurricane hole to live and die and mess everyone else's life up, think about what you're doing. Put some skin in the game. Get your boat in a marina and fix it. Don't just have a someday out here ready to ruin everyone else's day. Take care of your boats, guys. Oh, shoot. Matt's laying down yeah, the law. Yeah, lay down the law. This is terrible. This is like, you <laughs> know. only a couple. When there's more growth on the line than there is on the rocks on the shore, you're not taking care of your boat. You're never going to do nothing with it. If you want to, I'm all about the someday's. Trust me, my old boat was a someday back in the day. But I got a dock. I paid out the butt for it. I got everything taken care of, and here I am sailing. These just endanger everyone else's life. Not that I got drug on the other night, but, you know. Guys, what are you doing here? If you ain't going to fix it and sail it, don't have it out here for everyone else to have to deal with. Rant over. Prime candidate. <laughs> Not yet, I guess. Oh, yeah, guys, and pray for me. I'm going in to check my anchor like I always do. And my mom said before she went away last week, she was looking all around Puerto Rico, and she said that someone got attacked by a tiger shark in this very bay. A six foot tiger shark, which didn't Where did seem very she get big. that information? I don't from? know, but she told me, she said, Maddie, you be careful down there because someone got their someone got their legs and arms bit all up. So pray for me. This is some dark, murky water. I don't I like don't it. I don't know about that. We're going to see. The storm is coming tomorrow morning, so me and Matt, we're going to grab some drinks. We're going to take a nice little afternoon stroll around to check out some of these damaged boats to see if any of them are about to rip over and smash right into our beautiful paint job. So this is something we do sometimes, just look around the anchorage, see anything, obstacles, or anything that we could maybe have any problems with. So let's go venture out and see what's out there. the main hazards you're gonna have to deal with is other stuff coming up and floating and hitting your boat during a storm. This one is located northwest of us. We're not gonna get too much northwest wind so I'm not terribly concerned but this would normally if the storm was let's say category two, category three, gonna be much stronger. Uh, it's something I'd be concerned about because there's no lines, there's no anchors, there's nothing holding this so basically all this thing has to do is be floated and uh, pushed over there and this could become a hazard for someone. All right, so another one, no anchor. So we'll be keeping an eye on this one as well. Pretty well on, on ground here. This is a big Faro cement, big old cement boat. And this guy at least put his fenders out for us. So, you know, that's good. One less thing to worry about. And someone might be actually living on there. Looks like someone camps in it at least. Someone has some fun on that old crazy boat. Alright, so there's a little almost completely enclosed bay here that I see a couple boats up in. They all have shallower drafts than me. I probably couldn't get up in here. If there was a big storm surge and some more water was in here, I maybe could stick myself in here. 
But for this particular storm, we're gonna go ahead and stay outside. Rumor has it this whole entire bay doesn't get much swell regardless of the wind. So I think we should be fine. We're gonna be under 50 knots for this storm, they're saying, as of right now. But this could be a cool little spot. I see some boats in there, way up tight into the mangroves and they're pretty well taken care of. They look safe to me. And then there's another creek, if you have an even smaller boat, that you could probably shove it all the way up in this creek. So let's go look at that now. We're having a little bit of a sundowner session here and uh, this is something that's been kind of important to me obviously with hurricane season the question's been coming up more and more from people on Instagram and on YouTube Facebook things like that people kind of ask how do we feel about hurricanes like how do we learn about what they're gonna do and how do we try to predict what we should do and what where the hurricanes are going so the what I do normally during hurricane season is everything first thing in the morning I wake up I check uh, NOAA National Hurricane Center and I see if there's any blips on the radar. If there is, once I do see one, I will then go to my Windy app, which is my wind forecast. I use it a lot for sailing and things like that. But when there's a storm coming, I look at the storm and I use the uh, the prediction that they have, which is usually kind of off whack for like an eight day model, but usually their two to three day model is pretty close. So I'll have a look at that to see where it kind of looks like it's gonna go, what they're predicting the intensity is gonna be. And um, then once I kind of know where the storm's going, it's kind of laid its track down a little bit better and they tighten up on it. I will then wait till the storm's about 24 to 48 hours out. And then I'll go to the, um, wherever I'm at, whether I'm in Florida, whether I'm in the Bahamas, wherever I'm at, they usually have like a Doppler radar um, for the local weather. So I'll go to that and then once I get into that, I can see like how much moisture the storm is holding. And um, that usually helps me out a little bit because if there's not a ton of moisture and it's just gonna be wind, those storms tend to have just like flat, straight wind. They just stay in the same direction. They just blow and blow and blow. And they blow very hard. You can have problems dragging still, but um, it's usually in one direction. There's not as much direction change and whipping around and things like that. When there's a lot of moisture, sometimes you have like individual cells that can blow the wind in, in almost any direction, uh, put you in more danger for water spouts and things like that. So in my experience, what I've found, when it's really, really wet, there's a ton of that red and purple moisture on the maps. Um, you're gonna be in for a rougher storm. Even if it's calling for the same measure of wind, those squalls and that heavy rainfall, for whatever reason, seems to compound the gusts and just makes things go a little more haywire. So that's what I do. Now tomorrow we're gonna get upwards of 45 mile an hour winds. So anything from 30 to 40 knots and uh, we'll see if we get swell in here. All right guys, make sure you like this video. Give us a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new because the next video, we're gonna see how the storm went. Right now we don't know. It's been changing every day. So stay tuned.